back. Monday is Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day and all over South Florida and the country celebrations will be taking place in remembrance of the American civil rights leader. Joining me now is Royal Palm Beach Mayor Fred Pinto to talk about the celebrations happening there. Thank you so much for being here with well, us. Thanks for having me here today. We appreciate it. We love having you. So for people who are going to be attending, what can they expect? Well, first of all, the event will start at 10 a.m. All right, at our cultural center in the mm -hmm. village of Royal Palm Beach. It is an event open to the public. There's no cost to get in. Uh, but starting at 8.30, there will be like a continental breakfast available from 8.30 to 9.30. So if you want to get there early, you get a chance to get something to, to eat. All right, sounds uh, good. But that's, that's pretty much the, you know, get there at 10 o'clock and it, it'll, it'll start then. Okay, what kind of events will be taking place uh, throughout the day? Uh, well, this is our main event for mm -hmm. today. There may be some other things that are going on, but in terms of this, this pro is a bit, it's going to be a program of, of uh, various types of entertainment. We're going to have a, a, a steel band there and praise dancers, uh, and we have a special guest speaker, Judge Simone uh, Rowe will be there to, as a guest speaker as well. Okay. Now, I understand there's a partnership between the Caribbean American for Community Involvement and also the Village. So can you talk a little bit about yeah. that? Uh, 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 we refer to that organization uh, acronym of CAFSI. CAFSI. Uh, okay. Because it's a long time. It is a very and long one to they've say. Been, they've been established in the, working uh, with the community in the Village at least, I'm going to say at least 30, maybe more than 30 years. But about 22 years ago, we realized as a village that there was nothing really happening on MLK Day in the Western communities, and we wanted to establish an event and CAFSI stepped up uh, to, to the plate and says yeah we'd be glad to do that uh, so the, the partnership is they really do all the work <laughs> they put the program together they execute the program they they go out and they have a separate uh, entities donate for the for the breakfast that's provided all we do is give them a very nice venue to yeah. do it in and, and but so it's it's, it's a good partnership it's a good partnership, a good partnership, but, partnership but we have definitely. to really say you know shout out to CAFSI for the for 22 years, yeah. they delivered an excellent program in memory. Of, of Mayor, it's King. kind of bizarre to think that 22 years ago there was no events going on to honor Dr. Martin Luther King out in the West. In fact, as a fact of that, in 22, before they, we had the event start here 22 years ago, CAFSA used to you put together a program and, and, and participate all the way in Riviera Beach, mm -hmm. right? A parade they would have. So we said, why are you guys We want one. Away? Yeah, let's do something here. <laughs> And, and, and it's open to, to all of the Western communities. That's why it's open okay. to the public, and we just welcome everyone to come in at 10. All right. Well, you heard it right there. 10 o'clock in the morning. Breakfast starts at 830, 830. If, if you want that. Right. And it is free and open to the public if you would like more information on the celebrations taking place at Royal Palm Beach on Monday. You can head to our website, WPBF.com. Thanks, Mayor, so much for coming in. Vanessa, over to you. Okay. Thanks, Nathalie.